Jesus! Do you have to? I'm I was just about to go to bed, and they've released more footage of the freaking Megalodon for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Which, you know what? I'm not going to argue about. And here it is. Oh, and all of its pixely Twitter video glory. The Mosasaur in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is the biggest creature at the moment. And the Megalodon, I don't know about you, was kind of a big deal. The biggest shark that ever existed that hunted whales. And these two are just going to be suddenly thrown back in the mix together? How can we possibly know the slightest to expect? You, you, you get it, the reference. Uh, <laughs> but because of this footage, I did a little bit of diving and comparing, and I think I may have figured out exactly how big this Megalodon really is. Is it bigger than a Mosasaur? Well, let's find out. So the first thing I did was jump into Jurassic World Evolution and just try and get a shot of the Mosasaur, you know, eating from the feeder, the same as the promo picture that we got handed to us by uh, Frontier. And, well... I, I kind of got it similar. I mean, that's the best that we're going to do. I sort of got the sharks to match in size, then moved it off. And I mean, to me, yeah, that, that, that looks about right. They're both ginormous monsters. I could see them being this size. But there is another shot that we can get a better perspective because this is going to be a bit dodgy with the way the camera angle is. And of course, I can't replicate it 100%. So... I found this shot. And this is exactly what you want when you're doing a size comparison. You want that side profile of the creature. And here it is, eating a tuna. So all I had to do was find, you know, get some footage of my Mosasaur eating some fish and make sure that, you know, I could single out one of those little tunas. Well, they're quite big in comparison to a Mosasaur, they're, they're tiny. And compare that to the tuna that was in the video and I think I did it as you can see right here we've got these two tuna pretty much exactly the same and as you can see from the silhouette of the megalodon and the mosasaur they look very similar in size in fact almost like they're the same size so what is I know I've cut you for long enough this will be a short video I, I promise I want to go it is um, let's see just how big the Mosasaur is to the Megalodon. And that is the comparison. I sort of split the images and drew in a tail because it, it was a weird bend of it. Of course, the Mosasaur was going to be longer. Uh, I mean, it's, it's like a serpent. It looks to be that size. This to me looks about right. Now, there was another image of the Megalodon and it did have its whole body in the shot. However, when I compared those two together, I got something a little bit different. I got this. And the difference between this size and this size is kind of big. <laughs> like, that Megalodon could eat that Mosasaur for breakfast. It could put its whole head inside it. But I did it. I compared this tuna to this one and yeah, maybe there's some weird perspective going on and the tail's a bit curved. In fact, the way the tail is, this makes it look even shorter. It could even be longer. I don't know about you, but for me, this one feels more right. This one looks like it's the same uh, proportions, like zoomed in, same lens, same focal length. But with this one, there's just something off about it. And I'm not too sure, even though the tuna is the same size, I don't know, if I was a betting man, I would bet that this is the size of Megalodon. And in comparison to a Mosasaur, it's very similar in size. Almost fightably similar. Although we saw that with the Tylosaur, Tylosaur is quite similar to the Tylosaur. No, oh. Mosasaur. The Tylosaur is very similar to the Mosasaur in size, but I think the Mosasaur kind of can kill the Tylosaur very easily. But anyway, this is the best that we can do when it comes to the length of the Megalodon. Leave in the comments down below. Did I get it right? Do you think the other one that's absolutely ginormous will be what Frontier decides to go with? Will Universal Green Light an absolutely monstrous Megalodon? It'd be kind of cool, but I don't know about you. I feel like they want to keep the Mosasaur as the big bad guy and, you know, that thing is the size of a kaiju in the movie franchise. But anyway, guys, if you leave a like, I'll see you later. Bye!